Welcome back to the DX Engineering Channel. I'm Michael KIR. I've had an opportunity to use the Res Ranger 80 and Recon 40 antennas at my home and on POTA outings. I've been very impressed with the build quality, ease of use, and performance. Well, Res is back with a new antenna that I've been waiting for an opportunity to review, so let's take a look at the Res Scout. The Scout is more than just another portable vertical antenna. With optional accessories, it can be configured in multiple ways, such as a half-wave wire dipole, a half-wave rigid dipole, a V-dipole, a hamstick dipole, and with a tuner, it could also be set up as a delta loop, random wire vertical, or an in-fed random wire antenna. The heart of the Scout system is the Scout base. This is a patented base that serves as the hub of the system and the attachment point for the coaxial cable, the mount, and other Scout accessories. The hub is crafted from CNC machined 6061 black anodized aluminum, making it durable and resistant to weather. It also has an SO239 connector on the base that incorporates a custom gasket which protects it against moisture and dust. Integrated radial ports make radial attachments simple with up to eight 4mm banana plugs, making it easy to attach the radials. A threaded mounting port with a hoist ring makes it easy to suspend the hub from a rope. The port also allows for attachment of the universal mass mount, which enables it to be directly attached to a pole. While the Scout antenna can be purchased as a kit, you can also buy the pieces that you want a la carte. Let's look at the optional components. Rest has several options for mounting the antenna, including the Z-Pod, which is an aluminum tripod that is 12 inches high and has a 30 inch footprint, and the G-Spike, which is a 17 inch stainless steel spike with a 3H24 female mount inside of the collar. Res also has the universal mass mount, which allows for the scout base to be mounted to masts that are between one and one and three quarter inches in diameter. This makes it easy to use the scout base for dipole configurations. To go along with these mounts is the Res multi mount. The multi mount can be used on a camera tripod or any of the Res mounting options and makes it easy to set up the Scout as a V-dipole or a vertical, and it also works as a central component of the Delta Loop. Next is the Z17 Whip, which is 205 inches or just over 17 feet long. When collapsed, it's 23 and a quarter inches long. The Whip is made from heavy-duty black electroplated stainless steel and has a 3H24 threaded base. Also available is the Res DLWK Delta Loop Wire Kit. The wire kit includes a wire winder, 25 feet of Kevlar antenna wire, and two copper alligator whip clips. When paired with the Scout base, two of the Z17 whips, and the Res multi-mount, this creates a versatile multi-band delta loop antenna. Next is the ZQD radial kit. This includes four 33-foot radials that have 4mm banana plugs. Res also offers the CM7 common mode feed line choke. The CM7 is an inline choke which consists of seven mixed 31 ferrite beads and 240 series flexible coax. The choke provides 35 to 40 dB of attenuation from 1 to 300 megahertz and will keep RF from traveling back to your radio. It also keeps your coax from radiating RF which can impact your antenna performance and tuning. And finally, the LDK Link Dipole Kit gives you everything you need to build a link dipole for up to four bands down to 40 meters. This kit includes 77 feet of 18 gauge tin copper wire, 12 Anderson power pole connectors, shrink tubing, four S clips, ring terminals, insulators, and two wire winders. And to carry your res antenna, there's the Flex Antenna Bag. This bag is made from nylon water resistant materials and features two zippered pouches on its exterior along with three zippered pouches inside its large interior. There's also provision for a hook and loop system so that you can hold your antenna components in place. The flex pack also has enough room for a small rig, antenna analyzer, coax, and other accessories. The Scout is also available in several combos, which include all the necessary accessories for the version of the Scout antenna system that you want. You can find all of these on the DX Engineering website. Let's look at different configurations you can build with this antenna system. The easiest way to deploy the Scout is as a quarterway vertical. 
Using either the Z-Pod tripod or the G-Spike, along with the Scout mounting base and the Z-17 whip creates a quarterway vertical on 20 through 6 meters. Just add the ZQD radials and you're ready to go. With the whip extended close to its full length, it's a full quarter wave on 20 meters. And by collapsing sections, you can tune 17 meters up to 6. Another way to deploy the Scout is as a wire dipole. Just attach the LDK link dipole kit to the Scout base, and either hang the base from a rope using the hoist ring or from a mast using the universal mast mount. Using the Scout base along with two of the Z17 whips will allow you to deploy a rigid dipole. Just add the universal mass mount and extend the whips to the band you want to operate and you're on the air. Another way to deploy the Scout is as a dipole with hamsticks. All you need is two hamsticks that are made for the same band along with a Scout base and the universal mass mount and you're ready to go. The final way to deploy the Scout as a dipole is as a V-dipole. To do this, you'll need the Scout base along with two of the Z17 whips, the universal mass mount and the multi-mount. Just attach the multi-mount to the universal mount, screw in the scout base and to the two whips. Extend the whips to the band you want to use and you're on the air. A unique way to deploy the scout is as a delta loop. For this configuration you'll need either the Z-Pod, G-Spike or universal mass mount, the multi-mount, scout base, two of the Z17 whips and the DLWK wire kit. Simply attach the multi-mount to the mount you want to use then attach the Scout base, two of the Z17 whips and the DLWK wire kit, and extend the whips completely. One other thing to note here is that this configuration requires a wide-ranging tuner. If you choose to use the Z-Pod mount, Res recommends that you should use at least a 5-pound weight to hold down the tripod. In heavier winds, you may need more weight. I was able to test all the configurations except the random wire vertical and the infed and found that each of them performed very well. I found that it was easy to work stations around the country while running 100 watts without any problems. The antenna is rated at 500 watts sideband, 300 watts CW, and 200 watts digital. And it also includes a one-year warranty. The Rest Scout is a multi-configuration antenna system and it is an excellent choice for any outdoor on the air activities that you enjoy. It's reliable, versatile, and the build quality is excellent. Its ability to be deployed in multiple configurations make it a unique antenna. It can be deployed rapidly, which makes it not only ideal for POTA, SOTA, and field day, but for MCOM as well, making it a worthwhile investment for anyone who wants to operate portable. One other plus is that you can buy what you need now to get on the air and add to it over time when you want to try other configurations. While preparing for this video, I had a conversation with Mike at Res Antenna concerning the Delta Loop configuration. Mike said he's currently working on adding a bow to the loop to improve its performance. That will be coming soon. Also coming soon, Res will have two optional 40 meter coils, one for a 17 foot whip and one for a 25 foot whip. The coils and the 25 foot whip will also be available soon. Hey, thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI8R. We'll catch you on the next one.